Today I bring you several videos of ghosts that some may consider downright scary and just plain disturbing. Before we get started, if you've already done so, may I ask you to consider clicking the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with my latest uploads. Without further ado, I now present to you... Number 1 This video is brought to us by TikTok user Mrs. Tennyson underscore 2 underscore you triple exclamation point. And Mrs. Tennyson has a client here who she watches at night, I'm assuming. I'm not sure what the whole relationship is. I know that this person is her client. But in this video, you'll notice around the client's bed, starting underneath it, there is a ghost-like figure that keeps popping in and out. You'll notice the client isn't moving and there's no one else in this room. But there's a lot of strange activity happening on the right side of the camera here around the client's bed. Now to state the obvious here, this client has no pets and there's no one else in the room with them. So what's causing this strange anomaly on camera? Some people think it might be the client's late husband. Some people think this might be a spirit attached to them. Every night I'm at work, I'll be thinking I'm tripping. But you gotta watch this video, y'all. You see that move under the bed? Like I know for a fact this goes to my client's house. I be seeing, st you see it keep moving like right there under the bed. It's moving back and forth. You see it? It's ghost in my client's house. Look under her bed. It'll come out and go back. Now she in bed sleep. She ain't moved an ounce. But do you see how it keep coming out? Going back in? This is no joke. My client truly has ghosts in her house. You see it? She don't have a dog. She don't have a cat. But it's always something moving in her room on camera at night. Sometime it'll fly directly across the camera. Be creeping me the heck out. Like, no doubt. I'm gonna let's be still so y'all can see. You see it moving in there again? Look at that. It's moving up by the bed now on the frame. And then you'll see it move again. You see that? I think I'm tripping. Maybe I want to. This real live ghost in here in her house. It don't matter how I turn the camera. That ghost is in that room and it ain't going nowhere. Number two. This video is brought to us by TikTok user Chilled and Disturbed. This video takes place in Iraq inside an abandoned school. As some friends are exploring and filming, they capture something on camera they were not expecting. While entering the next classroom, they accidentally capture a almost full body apparition. I say almost because when you see it, you'll notice it's missing its head. Now, I'm not sure the story behind on why this school is closed, but maybe it has something to do with decapitation. Which, be it, it's gruesome and brutal, it might explain why this school is closed. I'm not really sure myself, but I'll tell you this, it's a very good piece of evidence, and I'm having trouble debunking it. What's also interesting to me is that none of the kids seem to notice this figure walking towards them missing its head, so if they had, I'm sure the reaction would be a lot different than it was. It truly is a neat piece of evidence, and I wish I had more to say about it, aside from the fact that it's really hard to disprove, and it's really creepy. What do you guys think, though? I'd love to hear your opinion. Share in a comment down below, and we can discuss what this could be as a team. Some kids in Iraq are filming around an old abandoned school. At first, their exploration is pretty uneventful. Then one of the boys mentions in Arabic that his phone that had been fully charged was now about to shut off. Right after he says this, the cameraman nonchalantly pans around an abandoned classroom. Just then a call to prayer can be heard from a nearby mosque. 
the camera catches this strange footage. The boys couldn't see the headless apparition with their naked eye and had no reaction. It was only later, when watching the footage back, that they noticed the chilling figure in the video. This video is brought to us by TikTok user Wade Lanigan. In this video, Wade happens to capture what seems to be the hat man, or a ghost with a hat, following him down the hall. Now what I find interesting is, this is not the first time I've used one of Wayne's clips, but the ghost looks the same in both clips I've used. It's hard to tell exactly what this is. The ghost's movement alone would indicate that this is an intelligent haunting, which can be the scariest kind of haunting. Now on one hand you could say they set this camera up perfectly because they knew what they were doing, but on the other hand if they're having paranormal activity in their home and they want to prove it's happening, you would set up cameras where there's hot spots. So, I don't know guys, I'm on the fence on this one. I can't believe I caught it following me again. I can't. Number four. This video is brought to us by TikTok user Scary Videos. In this video, we have somebody filming what seems to be golf practice when the door in their home opens on its own. The husband realizes something's happened and he goes to look around to see nobody's outside. Shortly after that, the chair between the couple pulls back on its own. I'm not saying this is fake, but if you were going to fake paranormal activity, this is not hard to fake. You just have a friend outside who pulls the door open and then runs, and you have a friend on the inside who pulls the chair. Like I said, not guaranteed to be fake, just easy to fake. Although, if I had to judge, I'd say their reactions seem pretty genuine. So, they're acting. Good job. I need to see more clips and or a different angle or a full scan of the room. Just something to sell me on the fact that this could be real. How was that? What the hell was that? Hello? Hello? Who is it? Who is it? What's going on Oh my god. Oh my god. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. This video is brought to us by TikTok user Dark Moose. In this video, we have CCTV footage from a facility where security guards happen to notice strange appearances happening in their workspace. What they're seeing seem to be apparitions. We see one walk past the camera here. It's light and it's see-through, but you can see it, and you get a reaction of the security guard, and he throws something at it. That felt pretty genuine to me. And then we have a different apparition that's darker. It happens to float across the top of the room, and this security guard sees it and stops dead in his tracks when he does see it moving. Clips like this are hard to argue with, in my opinion. But what do you think? Do you think this is just a camera glitch? Some well-done editing? Or is this possibly just an attempt at going viral? This is why most people don't want to work the night shift. A hospital security guard by the name Jay has been documenting a series of hauntings onto his YouTube page for several years now. He explains that during the night shift, randomly, strange, mist-like figures come to visit him and the other officers late at night. Motherfucker decided to show herself again. First, you can see Jay notice a white figure passing by. I looked at it like, okay. I'm like, okay. So I hesitated, so I just do the something, do something, because I didn't know what to do. Then, on another video, an officer by the name Hooks is also seen noticing this thing through the corner of his eye. <laughs> yeah, no. There you go. See it? And watch out. He stopped. <laughs> He looked like, what the fuck? <laughs> Could all these light and dark mist like figures be the wandering spirits of those who passed away in the hospital? Let me know what you think. 
Well, my miscreants of the macabre, we did it. We finished another video. If you enjoyed today's content, hopefully you did, click the like button, click the share button, and share this video with three friends who don't believe in ghosts. Leave me a comment. If you've already done so, make sure you click the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with my latest videos. I post daily shorts and new videos every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Regardless if you do these things or not, I appreciate your viewership, and I'll scare you in the next one.